Hey, I've never really made a video or even talked about flat earth <laughs> because everybody else on YouTube does such a wonderful job establishing the fact that the earth is flat, not round. But here I am at the beach and off in the distance in the horizon is a boat. I'll see if I can get it tuned in here. My camera may not be able to pick it up, but I'll give it a try. Ah, there we go. Okay, now that boat is actually about as far as my human eye can see. But that doesn't mean that there's nothing else out there. And obviously, it's flat. Because water seeks its own level. So it's not going to be round in any way, shape, or form. Water won't adhere. Okay, that's as far as my eye can see. That doesn't mean it stops there, it's just called the horizon. That's as far as my human eyes will take me. But as you can see, everything up into that point is flat. So why would anything beyond it not be flat? The earth is flat. And sometimes on the earth, there's some hills and mountains, and that would be elevation. And sometimes there's some depressions in it or some dips, and that would be your valleys. And that's basically it. The Earth is a flat plane, most likely it's either a square or rectangle and outside of the square or rectangle is a circle and that circle would represent the ice all around the whole flat plain so the Bible talks about the four corners of the earth that would be your square or your rectangle and then the Bible also talks about the earth as being circular so that would be where the ice is. So that's how I see it. The earth is like a flat plane, either square or rectangle, and it's within a large circle. And between the lines of the, cir of the rectangle and square, where the circle exists, that's where your ice would be. And beyond the circle would be, I guess, nothing unknown uh, but that's all God needed he didn't need anything beyond the earth except the stars in the sky and the moon and the sun and other than that that constitutes the physical existence that we know some refer to it as the universe, but basically that just constitutes the physical world. And then beyond that would be the uh, eternal world. And of course, nobody can cross that barrier between the uh, known world, the physical world, and the eternal world. Jesus spoke about that in the parable of Dives and Lazarus, which you can't really uh, cross over. So somewhere out there, beyond the circle that encompasses the square, 
of the earth, I believe, would be eternity. And however you want to see it, it could be a wall, uh, but no one's permitted beyond that. Unless, of course, we pass from this life and death, and then we are welcomed into the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. These are just some of my thoughts. And again, I'm at the beach here. I'm at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, for a little bit vacation and rest. And I thought I would make some videos. So I'd like to thank you. And I'd like to affirm with all those out there who's, who undo the whole idea of the global Earth, that is correct. The Earth is flat. It's not a globe. It's not a ball. And the reason you see that globe and the ball so often in movies or news stories is because it's one of the keys of witchcraft to put everybody under the power of the Baal, or Baal, or Baal, B-A-A-L, sometimes just called Baal, or Baal, Baal. And his power of witchcraft controls this world, unless, of course, you've been touched by the Holy Spirit, and you've been given the power of the mind of Christ to look beyond the deceptions of the devil and that is why you see the globe or the ball many times in movies or news stories because it is a fundamental principle of putting people into a realm that does not really exist except under the power of the devil in other words a globe or a ball. It's just a flat plane, probably a circle or square, circle or, uh, excuse me, rectangle or square within a circle. Now I could be wrong, but I think the Bible pretty well supports that concept. And again, you're welcome to leave comments, uh, ideas, suggestions, disagreement even. Uh, that's fine. I very rarely do I withdraw anyone's comments. Uh, once in a long while I do, but for the most part, even if they disagree, I leave them there. I try to leave them there because, hey, I don't profess to know it all. I only profess to know the one who is the way, the truth, and the life, the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching.